I believe that I have just bought myself one of the smallest brand new HD TVs. That's right, it's not going to take much room in my house, um, but actually it's a lot more than that, isn't it? Andrew from Astute, it's great to talk to you. Um, this is so super small, but it has got such massive capabilities, hasn't it? Can you yeah. tell me about it? Yeah, this is correct. I mean, this is OLED technology on, um, well, it's, it's HD TV on a chip. Uh, so it's equivalent to having your own home TV, uh, home cinema, uh, virtual reality applications, uh, augmented reality. So it lends itself to anything from sighting applications with monochromatic views. So you could do it for infrared TV, thermal imaging, or just plain old color TV if you want it. So you can do anything with these. So what we've got here in front of us is actually an application of essentially a cinema in a pair of glasses. So this actually uses two displays. Um, this actually used for virtual reality, uh, gaming if you wish, or even drone pilots fly, um, even drone pilots use these for flying in races, or if you were to buy your own drone, and it's a good quality one, with a, um, with a camera environment, you could control it through these glasses. I want to have a go. So I'm going to put these glasses on. Now this for me um, is something that I'm really quite interested in. I travel a lot for work um, and I get obviously on planes, trains and it's quite, you know, taking an iPad and a, and a, and a laptop everywhere with you isn't always that great. And actually this is incredible. The, 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 um, the quality that's coming through these glasses it is literally like having your own private cinema. It's amazing. Yeah, this, I mean, if you look at what we've got in front of us here, we've got a TV screen. And if we get close to this TV screen, you see the individual pictures, uh, pixels almost on an XY matrix. It's very grainy. And if we look at a normal computer here in front of us, this has got an LCD screen. Now, the problem with LCD technology is that black isn't actually off. Black is a funny sort of a grey colour, so you don't get a true... A, a, um, true black colour. With OLED technology you get true black. But also the clever thing about this technology, it has a very small pixel. They can be as small as seven and a half microns or 7.6 microns, but that pixel can actually be four sub-pixels. So you could have a red pixel, a green pixel, a blue pixel and a white. So you get true contrast between black and white. So the quality, image quality on, that, on these glasses that Joe has just uh, demonstrated is absolutely brilliant. It just knocks you out when you compare it to the TV and the LCD screen that we have in front of us. And I was actually just going to demonstrate to Jo uh, what it's like to actually be a drone racer. So if she puts the glasses back on, I'll get a video running. Andrew, you've just made one of my dreams come true. I've always actually <laughs> wanted to be a drone racer. Uh, we got a drone at home and crashed it immediately. So um, I'm not sure how good I'll be at it, but if you're going to give me a little bit of a, a taster, that would be fantastic. Maybe I need to just do this quickly so that I can still talk to you. Um, while you're doing that, Andrew, one thing that I have got in my head is these are going to be incredibly expensive, aren't they? No, actually, um, these glasses here uh, retail for about £650. Uh, we're going to do a special deal at the show, of course, <laughs> if you want to come and see us. But our game really isn't to sell these glasses as such. They were using the glasses to demonstrate the OLED technology that engineers would put into products that they would develop for their own companies. So here we've got a drone on the screen. So if you want to put those on, Joe, let's have a look. Right, so this is what you would see if you were piloting your own drone. Now, you've got, to amaze, you've got to be amazed here at the speed here. So you're actually experiencing no latency or no visual latency that you can perceive. If you think there's a radio signal coming back from that drone to the controller and back to the drone for the operator to drive it, you're also getting your video across that as well. And it's been processed by these glasses. So you're perceiving no delay. And if you're racing drones at high speed, and you'll see one in a minute in a street scene, you'd be amazed how fast that, that um, that, is, that communication is running and how well that uh, image is being processed for you.
That is absolutely incredible. I can't actually believe the speed of that and also the quality as well. This is the street scene that um, Andrew was talking yes. about that's come up there now. What's been the reaction um, from, you've been here a couple of days now, what's been the reaction from designers and from people in the industry? Oh, I've actually had a mix from uh, university students to people actually designing engines for the automotive environment that would actually like to use these to replace their computer-aided design terminals with actually putting on glasses. Now, they might be looking at the next generation of glasses which will use a, a far larger display have higher resolution and more luminance associated with the display so this will exceed 1080p uh, in current TV terms technology but it would be great for CAD design for instance. Um, typical applications today in the world or um, shall we say single eye applications or monoc uh, monochromatic um, applications are being used for things like infrared thermal imaging, sighting applications. So people use these in the process industry, for instance, in monitoring, say, high temperature environments and looking for temperature differentials to know when things are wearing out, for instance. They could also be used in firemen's helmets. You could imagine a fireman going into a thing and having a thermal imaging uh, set on the, uh, on, the, on, on the helmet and actually being able to see objects moving uh, reflected into the eye from a reflective um, the prism, if you want to call it that. Uh, those, that's also possible. We have got some augmented reality products to, to show. One of them, we haven't actually brought it to the show, but essentially they are biking glasses. You put them on, tells you how fast you're going, tells you the direction you were going. So this can all be displayed on the visor of the glasses and you don't have to look down. You don't have to look at any equipment on the handlebars, you just cycle. So, Which is going to be amazing for safety as well within quite a lot of um, different industries within the army, within the fire brigade and also on the road for normal day to day okay. use as well. I mean that's incredible for safety. That's uh, a very very good point actually because the, um, the developers of this technology um, demonstrated a few weeks ago at the Paris uh, motorcycle show uh, the technology being used for augmented reality in a bike helmet. So the actual display or uh, uh, of um, the speed of the vehicle, the position of information, GPS and all that sort of stuff is actually projected on the visor of the helmet. Now, that sort of technology has been looked at for about 20 years in the motorcycle world, but none of it has passed the safety regulations. It's not been small enough, not been light enough, but now it is possible to do this. So there are people now looking at all sorts of he um, applications in helmet-based um, products. It really opens the door. Andrew, this is absolutely fascinating. Thank you so, so much. Last question before I disappear. Uh, not literally. Um, now, can you tell me um, about your experience here at the show? Of course, it's the second day. We've been having an amazing show so far, but how's it been for you? Okay, that's a very interesting question. We were actually here last year. Um, it was my first... Uh, um time on a stand uh, but this year has uh, superseded that especially with the interest in virtual reality and augmented reality and applications associated with display technology so it's been a very successful event for us well i hope it continues to be so thank you ever so much and uh, i might just take these glasses with me thanks so much thank you very much.